Auckland, Glasgow. Now, in her, in her speech to the conference, Nicola Sturgeon also confirmed that residents of the small Hebridean island of Ulva have been given permission to attempt a community buyout, the island which sits off the west of Mull has just a few permanent residents and they'll now have to try and find more than four million pounds. Craig Anderson has more. It takes literally a minute on the tiny ferry to cross to Ulva. And today, all eyes were focused on the speech that islanders and the wider community of Northwest Mull hoped would give them the right to mount a buyout of the island estate. We have today granted permission to the people of Ulva to bring their island into community ownership. The announcement won an emotional response. I think it offers great opportunity to bring people back to the island to uh, strengthen the numbers in the school, to kind of offer a future for young people to stay in the area. And uh, I think if you give people a stake in where they live, they're more likely to stay here. The aim of the community group bidding for ownership is repopulation and stemming what they see as the terminal decline of the island and the wider area. The economy and, and the social fabric of Ulva has been in decline for some years. Uh, 20 or 30 years ago, there were 20 or 30 people living here. Uh, and, and, and working here. There are now just six people living here. So it's, it's been in serious decline. The fish farm boys, you know, sort of tended to come and go. And there's quite a few elderly ones died and moved off the island. So, you know, so we've not really been replaced with younger ones, which we really need some young blood back on the island. But with an asking price of around four million pounds, for just a handful of residents, the government insists it's not simply handing the community the keys or a blank cheque. They've got to get the money together. I mean, there are no easy uh, uh, hits here, so they still have to make sure they can fund the purchase. They've still got to do all the work um, uh, to, to, to actually make sure that they can grow the island both economically and in population terms. The community here now has several months in which to formulate a plan and raise enough money to buy the island and it could be one of the most expensive community buyouts in Scottish history. But with the experience of islands like Egg and Gear behind them, the community here is confident they will make a go of it. Craig Anderson reporting Scotland on the island of Alba. Now, Brian, this was a different conference speech, perhaps mm. reflective of a different political era. Yeah, it is a different era, isn't it? There, there isn't a referendum on the horizon.